Hey guys, the correlation of Northern Groups, CNG, has criticized the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, plan to introduce a 0.5% cyber security levy on electronic transactions in, in the Nigerian banking system, labeling it as decorum. They criticized the decision, stating that it is unfair. Hard has additional burden on the masses during challenging economic times. The CBN announced the implementation of the 0.5% cyber security levy on transactions in a circular, a circular dated May 6, 2024, directed to all commercial uh, merchants, non-interest and payment service banks, as well as mobile money operators and payment service providers. However, CNG National Coordinator Comrade Aliyu expressed in a statement on Wednesday that the levy demonstrates the government lack of comp compassion and understanding towards the challenges faced by Nigerians and meet the current economic hardship. They described the policy as extortion and deemed completely unacceptable. CNG claimed that the government had already deprived the people of any benefits in health care, education, fuel subsidies, and agriculture to the extent that millions of Nigerians could not afford a decent living in any form. The group urged the CBN to immediately reverse the decision which um, fairly imposes an additional burden on the masses during the challenging economic uh, circumstances. The statement read, the co-election of Northern Groups, CNG, vehemently opposes the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, proposed 0.5% cyber security level on all electronic trans transmissions in the Nigerian banking system. This levy is set to take effect in the next two weeks, highlights the federal government lack of empathy for Nigerians and meet the current economic difficulties. It demonstrates a cruel indifference following the removal of fuel subsidies, which has pushed fuel price above 1,000 naira per liter, and the sudden switch in electricity tariffs hacking to another impending government-led extortion. The CBN com condemns the policy as an utterly unacceptable from the extortion imposed callously on Nigerians who are already enduring hardship, showcasing the government's disregard for the less privileged. We found this added charge completely unjust, unjustified, considering that Nigerians are already burdened with stamp duty, transfer fees, that is VAT, and SMS charges with the Nigerian banking system or sector. While we acknowledge the importance of securing our cyberspace, this could only be considered one, the economy is stable, once the economy is stable and the standard of living of Nigerians has improved, furthermore, the current 0.5% levy is excessive, especially in a country that has not fully implemented a 30,000 Naira minimum wage, but reportedly increased the this, uh, disposable income of National Assembly members. The CBN points out that billions of Naira have been collected and misused through stamp duty alone in recent years without transparent and accountable explanations from the Appeals Bank to Nigerians. Therefore, the CBN's announcement, which has the potential to become another breeding grant for corruption, is completely rejected and condemned by everyone who cares about the country and its people.
we regret that the government has already deprived the people of any benefits in healthcare, education, fuel subsidies, and agriculture to the extent that millions of Nigerians cannot afford a decent living in any form. Thus, it urged the CBM to promptly overturn this harsh and one-sided decision that unfairly adds to the burdens of the masses during challenging economic times. Moreover, we urge the central bank as a matter of principle and transparency instead of further depleting the major resources of struggling yet uh, resilient Nigerians to offer a comprehensive account of all stamp duty charges accumulated from banks over the past decades. Consequently, we advise the CBN to rethink this poorly thought out policy and seek alternative solutions that do not subject Nigerians further to the whims of capitalist institutions. It's so sad. The truth is that the government is very far from the people. Yes. The government is very far from the people. That is why they don't know what is going on with the people. If they know what is going on with the people, they should know what they are doing. So they are really very far. They are really very, very far. It's so sad that this is where we are now. The government is just good, you know, looking for how to make money for themselves, tax, 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 tax everywhere, making life very, very difficult for Nigerians. Well, that is what Norton Eddard says. Uh They, you know, they say, and say, say these people now, be like, say they don't wake up or they just they talk every minute now. <laughs> so, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you're just joining us, a big subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.